Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome to another episode of Astral Colony. And I'm just down over at, uh, what was the name of this place? Uh, no, it's not this one here, it's Rod something. Uh, where I got the aluminum. And, uh, I'm actually running low, I want to get a few things done today. Actually, what I want to do is I want to get into some farming. Uh, as you can see in my research, I have been producing some of this biology research, which so I can start unlocking a few things like uh, farms, because my colonists don't have enough food, so i got to get some agriculture going, so we're going to go ahead and unlock that now. And then uh, they also need meal preparation, and it, uh, this also allows me to make bread in the kitchen. Uh, for this, I will have to bring in another colonist to be a, what was it, a, a cook, yes. So we'll do that, and then that gets us into some other stuff here. I haven't actually gone into the ranch, and this is pretty much where I've gotten... I think I might have gotten down to, like, Black Holes area, but I haven't really actually messed around with anything else beyond this point. This is all new, like, even the, the poultry farming. Uh, I don't think it really matters too much of if they're just eating bread, or if they're eating, getting the chicken, or pork, or whatever. I think as long as they, they get food, they're okay. Uh, eventually I will have to get to the wood, because the wood is actually going to be used for, uh, this polymer down the road here. Uh, yeah, anyways, um, so, yeah, this, uh, I've looked around, this is actually the last area I have for aluminum here, so we might have to actually move the station fairly soon, I think. Uh, I might actually start working towards, um, that other area there, what was it called? Uh, Cordelia. Or something like that. Anyway, let's go ahead and put the big guy down here. Now, there is one chunk here left about 2,700. And that should do for now. So I'm just going to go ahead and drop that right there. Uh, I do got to get some power to it. Um, I'm going to put a container on it down here too. May as well. Um, also want to get uh, a better setup going for the carbon. Because it... One research point is taking 40 carbon. You know, you need 40 of the carbon fiber, and one carbon fiber is 10 carbon. And it takes a long time to make. Uh, what am I looking for here? I'm looking for devices, storage. No, this is actually going to be able to fit on there. No, it's not. Hmm. Where can I put you? I'm going to put you there. Uh, pick up my pickaxe, get that out of the way, and go with some conveyors. Uh, there's a few other things I, I was thinking about trying to get around to today. I want to sort of sp spruce up the, the colonist area there, try to get a little more organized. What am I looking for here? Conveyors, yes. A path. And that way it just, you know, kind of looks more little aesthetic, right? Anyway, uh, I gotta dig this out, and I will be right back when I'm done. Okay, I'm just on my way out to Cordelia right now, and now that I'm actually thinking about it, I might stop down to Exterabus here and see what, how much uh, uranium I have, because this should be somewhat depleted. Uh, if you look at the top right there, we do have about 6,000 carbon there. It, it is counting what's in that in that one smelter, but as far as that goes, uh, we got about 5,000 carbon over there right now. Now what do I have in here? This was uranium, was it not? I already grabbed it. I don't need that though. Uh, what was the other one in here? That's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. No, 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 no. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Well, we might have to look somewhere else. Uh, over uh, at Grod there, there's actually some uranium up there I might try to get. But anyways, let's uh, head off to Cordelia, and uh, i got to find my ship again. What would be nice is, is if they would uh, add customization of the waypoint markers. So you could actually like colorize them. So you can, uh, if you want to find your ship, I can just look for the red marker where all the white markers would be different planetoids, or white could be my station. I could label, uh, color them for whatever resources that I have there. I guess it's a bit of a pain having to turn them on and off and try to go through that whole mess. It clutters up the head, but it is useful if you actually pay attention to it and use it. Now, this is actually further than I thought it was. I'm kind of curious about, uh, there's stargates apparently we can get, and I'm kind of curious about how that works, but this is also why I want to eventually, maybe next episode, we might actually look at start moving the station, try to get to fresh ground. Oh, wow, this was quite the ways. We're almost there. I can see it now. And there's that thing over there. What was, what was over there? Okay, 
let's go back here. So there's Cordelia there. No, nope, that's uh, yeah, Cordelia. That's this one I'm looking at over here. Uh, a little bit of uranium. See, that's the thing about these. There's so many of them that they have resources, but not much. Like even gold, it's valuable, but there's not much there. And this little guy down here, same gold. It might be an area to come. I should bring the station towards first. 5,000 uh, uranium there. And what was on this one here? There's some uranium. Aluminum is another one we gotta start looking for eventually. But let's go see. Pick up our carbon and then head on home. And I also wanna check and see how this is doing. Like, I think I had it sitting on about 10,000 units. So, it should go for a while. I gotta make sure that it's still got power. Well, it's still running. This one's almost depleted. This one still has a nice chunk to go. And... Uh, how's this one? This one is... This one is done as well, so we're gonna have to... I'm gonna have to move all this stuff eventually. But, if I go over to the warehouse here, I have a 6,000 carb carbon, which is great. What could be better, though, is if I could actually access it from my station, because now I have to fly all the way back to get back there. I'm going to take one quick look, quick look at the map again, and just see if there's anything. Like, I'm facing the station now, so anything behind me. Uh, this is... Oh, that was the uranium one. Yeah, oh, yeah, definitely gonna have to. There we go. Let me get my orientation right. But definitely gonna have to probably move the station. I should go look for stuff eventually. But in the meantime, I got some farming to do, and I got a colonist to hire, and I do actually have gold. So I will meet you when I'm back. And I'm back. I stopped over at uh, Grodd there to, too to pick up whatever aluminum there was and it was about uh, 200 so we'll go ahead and smelt that and I gotta pause again. And I'm back. Those sneezes, they'll get you every time. Anyway, uh, so I have 6,000 carbon so I'm gonna go ahead and throw that in here for now and that's gonna slowly, slowly, slowly make that carbon that I need. Another carbon fiber, we'll grab that and we'll go give these guys a little bit more to do. Uh, to put some oxygen in there for them. But what I want to do is I want to sort of make a little enclosure here. Or not necessarily enclosure, but uh, I don't know what you call it, a little station. Uh, it's got the walls and doors and stuff like that. And the customization is actually incredible. All these ones here uh, that have a little box in the corner, they are different. Well, these are actually different shapes, but they have uh, textures that are actually customizable. So I can get like this kind of pattern and I can actually adjust the color that I want up there. You can see a preview. Uh, same with stuff like this. I can duplicate anything that's got these marks here. Uh, the only one I can't do is these ones in particular, except, in particular, except for the railings. Um, doors, doors are standard. I do want to actually check out this door. Actually place it down and see how this looks. See how it operates. Hmm. I like it. So I'll go with that door then. Uh, I gotta be careful with that, doing that too, because uh, if you notice, my robotic assembler is gone. It used to be right here. Anyway, uh, okay, so I do gotta get some walls in here. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have the lab and the study hall down here. I might have it like a little cafeteria area over here with the kitchen. Might wall it in a little bit, and then uh, second floor is gonna be crowd chambers. Or maybe I'll even have the kitchen and dining hall upstairs and then just have like the lab and the research study hall and stuff like that down here. Uh, as far as walls go, I haven't really decided what, but I do know that those are three blocks high, so I gotta go with that particular set. Uh, style, I guess. Oh, the wall needs copper. Well, let's see how fast we can smelt up some copper, shall we? Uh, let's see, do I have co copper in here? Uh, no, copper's getting processed automatically. Of course it is. Uh, hmm. Did I not have some actually going in here? I do. Uh, I'll take half of them. 
it's half a stack, not the whole stack. And then we'll throw it in this and see how fast it can process. Now what I'm going to actually do, just for this whole situation, is I'm going to go ahead and place that ice. I want to see how fast those go up. Alright, so for the wall. Uh, hmm. I don't know what a style I want to go with. Obviously, you're going to go with a flat wall. But I'm going to have like... Um, if this is the wall, this is actually how high the floor is going to be. I might go a little bit higher, but I'm going to have like maybe one of solid panel and two of clear or two of window. But I haven't decided on the pattern yet. Uh, let me have a look and see what I can come up with and I'll bring it back. What is that? Oh, it's glass. I can make a glass wall or a window. Same thing. Anyway, I shall be back. Here's a little interesting little thing. Uh, I'm going with this panel here, I've been changing the color a bit. Originally, I went with an orange, but I think I might go with like a gray and try to sort of match this the, the scheme that's here. Uh, but if I open up the the editor, if you pay attention over here on the lower left, you can actually get a preview of the color as I'm adjusting it. It's red, it's blue, it's green. All right, get it back to the gray. That's interesting, so you can sort of get a, like a preview of what it's going to look like. But anyways, I want to get back to it. Uh, as you can see, these guys are hungry, so we got to get this farming going. In fact, maybe, maybe we'll do that right now. Because I do everything, I have everything unlocked, and I think I have everything I need to make it. Uh, let's see here, farming. Yes, I do have to make a robot assembler, though. Uh, stick you back over here. Uh, I think it actually might still be my recyclables, to be honest. And... It is, what do you know? Alright, and... That should be out of the way. Okay, so I gotta make two farming bot, or... I only need one farming bot, I guess. Uh... Is it gonna let me... Oh no, I need six and four. No, they're not in there, they are in here. That, and that, go in here, and... Just make one bot for now. Okay, throw all that back in there, and now we do, we gotta get a farm going. I'm not gonna get the kitchen going too, but we'll deal with that in a minute. What am I looking for here? Uh, farming. Okay. I gotta get water over here. Uh, water's over there. I guess we're laying some underground pipes. Uh, where is the bot? The bot's there. Alright, just uh, trying to figure out which way it's going to go, because I... And the bot sits on that little pad on the bottom corner there. Uh, let's just do it this way. Okay, we'll do that, and then... I think... I think six farm plots should be good. Now, I don't think it really matters where they go. But, I'm just going to do that for now. We will get rid of that. And, uh, where is the power? There. Okay. Go underneath, and I'm gonna grab a handy dandy wire, and let me get this connected and I shall be back. And there we go. That should be all set up. No, I don't think I have to actually specify what I gotta do here, do I? Hmm. And there we go. Now it should take care of all six six crops automatically. And yeah, of course, he was on the other side, so well, we'll just leave it there, let that do its thing. Uh, these guys are hungry, so we'll get them going. Uh, let's actually uh, put this in here. Let's get them a little bit more of this wonderful nourishment, and hopefully they keep on working. And in the meantime, I'm going to keep on working and get a station built. Okay, well, that's what I have for now. It uh, looks completely different on the outside than it does on the inside. And, Kind of like the, how the floor left a uh, line across, but this is what I've got. This is sort of the dining area here. Uh, I do have to put this food back in here because they're they're hungry. They're upstairs waiting for their food. Uh, so yeah, this is going to be like the cafeteria area. Uh, I'm just going to move the lab over here. Uh, I got to take everything out of here. Actually, I probably dismantle. I probably could just 
probably could just dismantle it if I hit the right buttons. And give me the supplies, but uh, we'll go ahead and put the lab down in here. Uh, where is it? Where is the lab? There it is. Laboratory. Where's the power on this? On this corner. Okay. And I think... Make sure we can actually get the door in. We don't need the conveyors because I'm going to manually feed it in. Uh, where are the doors on this? They're on this side, I do believe. I know the lights are a little... A little off right now. Um, tried to do the best I could. Oof. I don't like that. Hmm. You know what? You're, you're, not what I wanted to do. Come on. Get rid of the door. When I get rid of the door, I'm gonna actually fill in this wall here. I'm gonna put the lab over in the back here. Let's get rid of that. Oh, I thought I deleted my colonists. Anyway. Uh, I'll put that there. Uh, I don't know what happened with the, the lighting up on the set, upper floor, like up here. I could actually place the lights in. It's not too bad, but when I went upstairs, uh, they sort of clipped into the wall or something like that and created like this major glow. I couldn't really find much else to do with the wall uh, the lights, but that's what we did. And this has got to be the thickest pane of glass I've ever seen in my life. Wow, it's got to be heavy. Anyway, uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and put the laboratory back in here. Uh, as soon as I get bring up the right menu. Laboratory, okay, and we're gonna place you. That actually might be perfect right here. I just wanna get it centered, okay, so it's gonna line up right with that line. Perfect. Punch a hole in the floor and the subfloor. Or foundation, I guess. Not gonna let me go down, is it? No, it's not. Alright. We're gonna run the power along with the long pipe I have coming from the end there. I gotta turn anti gravity back on. Number of times I've done that. And the number of times I've done that. And I just punched another hole in the floor. Okay, and there we go. Perfect. Now I'm gonna find my way out of here. No, oh, I turned it around, didn't I? Come on. There we go. Ah, I did have it the wrong way. I'm sorry, guys. I gotta do this again. Gotta kick you out. I knew the conveyors were on the back side. Alright. Now, I guess we can hook this all back up. Okay, and then put the hole over on this side. And then run the cable back. And of course, remember to turn my jetpack back on. Okay, now where is this one going? I don't know. I've got to punch a second hole. Come on, where are you? It's orientating with all these green boxes. Okay. Now we go back down. We grab the extension cord and we fine. Get down there. I just have to go with this way then. Alrighty, now, uh, let's see where we're at. Well, we actually have to do have some uh, biological stuff. Alright, uh, wait, not assigned. Oh, I have no idea. Anyway, let's go bring us another colonist. Uh, bring one in, they'll be here in a minute and a half. We'll go run upstairs, and we are going to need a cook. And your cook will need an engineer eventually, and he will do his thing. Uh, let's see. Uh, I want to set up a drone set system on this. Uh, okay. Add request resources. You are going to need flour, which should be coming from here. 
Speaking of which, I should probably make some more of those uh, spiders. Of course, I need hydrogen and plates on me. Of course, I do. Plates and hydrogen. All right. Get a couple more spider bots going. And there they go. I right, go on here. Uh, we will wait up top for the ship to arrive. Oh, I missed it. You already showed up. Where are you? There you are. You are learning. All right. Uh, we'll let him do his thing, and I shall be right back. And there we go. We have our cook. He is cooking somehow in VR. And spider bites are bringing the flour. That's a big bag of flour. And they're also putting out the, bre the bread, which is actually a really good look looking loaf of bread. Cool. So that is how we're doing. I like how it actually shows the different types of food types that are actually on, are on here. Uh, I do have a few more uh, cryo chambers or whatever habitats. Uh, for any future colonists we, uh, we will need, I will have to get an engineer eventually. I can't remember what I need them for. But we'll need an engineer eventually. And there we go. So I think I'm uh, going to call this one here next episode. I think uh, I think we might have to actually move the station. Get a little closer to our resources. Uh, we probably do need to get to uh, Cordelia over there. Uh, I was wondering. I thought I had a uranium. Oh, I got lots of uranium. Can I actually make a reactor yet? Uh does it hit the right button, I'll find out. Uh, do I even have a reactor? I don't think I do. Oh yeah, because I needed the, the graphene. Alright, well let's make some graphene then. Grab that. We'll grab... Uh, put them all on here, unfortunately. Oh, actually you guys need this stuff. That's in here for a reason. Give it the dirt too. I don't need that. Uh, you'll need the oxygen. And I'm going to take half the graphene. You can have the rest. Alright, so I need graphene. I need aluminum. And I believe that can be made in here. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Uh, recipes. No, we want the... The manufacturer. Or do we? Let's find out. What's I doing this? Used for, produced from, oh, advanced manufacturer. Is this not the advanced? Can't upgrade. Why not? What do I need for it? Advanced manufacturer. Research might help. And titanium rods, apparently. So that might be an issue. Now, where is that? Uh, advanced manufacturing. Oh, yeah, that's all the way down here somewhere. There. Well. What am I missing here? Oh, I gotta get more of the chemistry science going. Hmm. What was chemistry science again? Uh, chemistry science was... Oh. Rods and dirt. I think we can manage rods. Oh, give me that. Actually, no, I wanted that, didn't I? I can't remember. Anyway. Get back to work. I'm not giving you bread to stand around. Okay, and what else do I need for it? Well, I need research. I also have to make aluminum bars and stuff like that. So I guess we'll just get that into that into the next episode. Uh, yeah, so we are self sustaining I might actually get into this. Oh, I know what that's for. That's for anomalies and hazards and other things that we got to watch out for in, in space. But until then, we won't worry about it. 
But anyways, uh, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't don't forget to leave me a like, and don't forget to have your jetpack turned on. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later.